Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in this series of videos we've been putting together various sections with the Elementor Page Builder plugin. Elementor Page Builder is absolutely fantastic. It comes in two flavors. There's a free version and there's a pro version. We've made plenty of videos with the free version. We're working with the pro version today. If you want to take it for a test run, you can download either version from my affiliate link below this video. So yesterday we put together this portfolio, really sort of nice looking little portfolio today. Let's build this custom login for your site. Really easy to do. I'm in an incognito tab because obviously I'm actually signed into the site. So I just need to put in my password, if I remember what it was, and hit login. There we go, we're logged into the site. So let's go and build this thing. I'm just gonna close this tab down. Here's the page where I've got it on. Let's go to a page where I don't have it and I'm gonna enable edit with Elementor. Once it's loaded, let's go down to where we actually wanna place our login. I'm gonna add a new section. Got a section right there. Let's go down. These are some of the free ones. Here are the pro ones. And I'm going to simply select the login and drag it here. There it is. <laughs> you can just leave it like that if you want to. Makes it very easily done. I've got an extra section here. I'm going to get rid of that section. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to change the background color of this section so we can customize our form a little bit better. Obviously you don't have to have it full width like this if you want to make it into two columns or three columns. You can edit the column or add a new column that way and have it quarter page, third page, half page, however you like to do it. But I'm going to go into our section by just hitting this tab here. Once in the section I'm just going to give it a background color. You can give it a color, a gradient, a video or a slideshow. And the slideshow of course you can just add one image and that'll be an image background. So let's just give it a color. I want to give it a sort of dark. Let's give it uh, say 333. There we go. That's fine. And let's give it a bit of padding top and bottom. Just hit the advanced tab. I'm going to uncheck the chain because it'll do all four at once if I leave that checked. And I want to give it say 100 at the top and 100 at the bottom. There we go, that's fine. So let's go back in here, just click on the little blue tab for the module here, the little pencil. Left clicked on that, we're back into our module here. First thing you see is labels. If you turn that off, there's no sort of labels above the fields there. I'm going to leave those on because I, I want them to stay that size. I'm going to make everything sort of medium. Just made that slightly bigger there. The button, if we go down to the next tab, what do you want it to say? You can have it say whatever you want it to say there. Just type it in there. And again, I'm going to make that medium. Keeping everything in medium. Alignment, you can have the button left, right, middle aligned, however you want to do it. I'll leave it there, but in a moment I'm going to change this because I want it to stretch the whole width and be the same as our input fields right here. So if we click on the additional options, we can have it redirect to a new page after login and it'll only let you use pages for your actual domain so pages for this site so let's take the home page which will be there and I'll paste that URL in there and then when they log in it should be directed to the home page there and again you can put another one in after logout if you want to I'm not going to do that We've got the lost password showing right there. And the remember me, you can just toggle these on and off if you don't want to use them. And the logged in message. Once you're logged in, it'll tell you you're logged in as whoever you're logged in as. Custom label, well, if we check that, you can put custom username labels, username placeholders, password labels, and password placeholders. These are placeworks placeholders right here and these are obviously username if I change that just to name 
see that's changed the name and I'll do the same for the placeholder within it there we go so you can put anything there or there that you want same with that so let's move on to styling now the form rose gap obviously you can take that up or down I'll leave it where it was on 10 the links color There we go, I've just made that green. That's a little lost password link there. Obviously you can make it whatever color you want. And if you want to, you can give it a hover state as well by just clicking on the hover state. And then when you hover over it, I'm just opening these up and shutting them down with a left click. So when you hover over it, it'll go blue. Let's move on to our labels. Here are our labels, your email address, password, I guess I'll make those white just so they stand out well. Ty typography you can change, make it bigger, smaller, however you want. Weight, font weight, transform it to uppercase, lowercase. I'm just going to leave mine exactly how they are, but there's a lot of options to choose from there. So play around with it and get some nice things that work for you. Let's move on down to fields. These are the fields where you put in your input. Now, I kind of want to make these round like we did. I'd have to open it in another tab, but I'm going to round the corners so they're sort of pill shaped. So, text color in the fields is fine. Typography is fine. Background color, that's fine too. You can change it to anything you want, but I'm just going to leave it as the plain white there. Border color, well, I don't really need a border. But I do want to put a border radius on. And I'm going to put on, just type in 50 there. And as you can see, that's made it 50 pixels round on both of the fields there. That's perfect, just what I wanted. Now, if we go into the button tab, text color, that's fine. I'm going to leave that typography, that's fine. Background color, I think I made that blue. And for the hover, just got a normal color and a hover color. I think I made it green. And you can change the text color as well. But So when you hover over it, it's green. When not, it's blue. And let's make our button rounded a bit like the top. Border radius. I'm going to say 50 pixels. There we are. That's nice and rounded. But what I actually want to do, I want to make this button be the same width as these fields so let's go back to the content to button I've got it aligned in the middle at the moment if I justify it it'll fill out the whole of the available space there we go just what I wanted logged in message I'm just going to make that text green so that when it says logged in as it'll just be a nice green color for sort of green for go so we're pretty much done there I believe In the advanced tab, I just will, I guess we'll give it a bit of motion. And let's say for the in entrance animation, fade in up. So it's going to pop up like that. Let's update and preview our changes. Obviously, because I'm logged in, I'll have to actually preview these changes in a new tab because it'll just tell me I'm logged in right here. So I'm going to grab the page name and the URL. I'm going to open an incognito. I'm using Google Chrome, so it's Control Shift N. Paste that in there. There we go. There's our form just popped up. Now let's hit login. There we go, and it's redirected us to a home page, which is our gallery that we made the other day. So if we go back to that page, it should actually tell us we're logged in now. But I thought I'd actually made that green. Let's just check that. I'll leave this open. 
let's just edit this with Elementor one more time. No, nope, I forgot to change the color, obviously. Let's just make that green. Update. I should just be able to refresh this page now. There we go. As you can see, it's now you, you are now logged in as Rev, and there's the logout button. You can customize that as well if you want to. So there you have it. There's how to make a custom login screen for your WordPress site using the fantastic Elementor Pro page builder plugin. As I say, if you want to take it for a test drive, either this pro version or the free version, you can download it from my affiliate link below. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.